Greetings YouTubers, <coughs> thanks for sticking with us, this is Fosty once again, um, on my second vlog ever, yes I am keeping count, um, thanks for sticking with us and I hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, if you've seen Fishy's vlog this week then you know it was my turn to pick the theme and you know what it is. For those who haven't seen her video or just want reminding, this week's theme is pasta. Yes. Do you know why? Because pasta is awesome. I like pasta. It is a starch based foodstuffs made of some kind of plastic commonly associated with the country of Italy, although I don't think that's where it was invented. I think it was invented in China. Could be wrong. Um, so yes, as you may have seen in Kate's video, she has created some beautiful pasta artwork for your viewing pleasure, and I have done the same. Now, before you see it, I wish to warn you of its amazingness, and it may just make your eyes bleed. Uh, I call the project The Two Sides of Fishy. And here it is. Now, wasn't that just amazing? But, Fishwick, you ignored some of the main uses of pasta, such as as a foodstuffs. Also, as a moustache replacement. Also, monobrow replacement and also as a thumb measuring implement. I know you're ill, so I will I will look past this one. Right, anyway, the actual theme for this week is independence. Um, I came up with the pasta thing because I was grasping at straws and eating pasta at the same time, so it seemed like a, a common link because also, pasta features a lot in a person who is actually living independently and not being cooked for and cleaned for and looked after already by the university. Yes, it's a staple diet for me. Um, that along with the bourbon biscuits, milk, and sultanas. Um, so yes, my diet is going very well. Uh, last night for tea I had a garlic bread baguette, which was very nice. And today for lunch I had chips and gravy. So, so far it's not too bad. I haven't burned the kitchen down, I haven't poisoned myself. So yes, thank you very much Fish, my diet is going amazingly. But I have to do my own washing, which I'm used to because I had to do it when my parents went on holiday without me. It wasn't a mistake, they went on holiday on purpose without me. Wait, no, that just makes it sound worse. I didn't want to go with them. They weren't just abandoning me. Please don't call the police. And, um, so I had to do my own washing for a couple of weeks. And I didn't really do very much tidying. I mean, I don't do very much tidying now. Um, I would... Would you like to see my room? It's immaculate, isn't it? And, um, I think it's other little things like shop food, not just food shopping, but you know, shopping for everything else as well, like toilet paper and 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 stamps and oh my god, stamps. Stamps are so confusing. I went to the post office to get some stamps and I didn't know what they came in. I didn't know they they came in sixes and twelves. Well I do now, but I didn't know at the time and I got and I didn't froze at the counter and I got mocked for it and I was like and I got patronized and I left very quickly after that with my twelve stamps. But now I know and I have stamps left for some other letters. Still a very, very threatening experience. Sob advice advice for living on your own and um, there's a couple of things i think i can think of one is that if you're going out or anything make sure you have one of two things okay you have a num um you have a taxi number you have a taxi number in your phone to give them a ring um and always tell someone where you're going so that if you don't turn up or something goes wrong then they will have at least an idea of where you are um Anything else? I think so. But also, a message for fish. Um, you're not getting my sympathy because of your rubbishy 
accommodation with your cleaners and your laundry service and your stuff. I haven't ironed in three weeks, so... <sighs> nah, really do go give your hugs and love to Fish because she's ill and it's sad. Just don't come near me, Fish. I don't want ill. Okay, Frosty, over and out.